Hi guys, Lauren Eldahar here. I am coming at you from outside. Not my normal in-office setup, but I am just having, it's a beautiful day and I thought I would come out here. It's a little Florida flex. Like I live in a great place so I can work outside part of the day. Oh, that's an airplane. That's what I get for filming out here. If you've never watched any of my videos, I'm a realtor and an attorney in sunny South Florida, as you can see. The sun's actually killing me right now. So this week, I'm doing a video on first time home buyers who are a special segment of the home buying population that is near and dear to my heart because, well, it's been a struggle for them lately. Um, this competitive market has made it really especially hard on first time home buyers and they're also near and dear to my heart because most of them are millennials, which falls into my age segment of the population in those little brackets. So I feel like I really understand this group because I've been through what they've been through. Now millennials are entering their prime home buying years. Uh, they're entering their prime money making years as well. Uh, working super hard, getting ready to settle down and buy houses. With that said, a lot less millennials are uh, following that traditional path than other generations we've seen, but they are still out looking for houses and we can expect them to be buying up a lot of what's available in the future. With that said, it's been real tough on them. I see all the time how it's been tough on them in South Florida, but recently this survey was done on first time home buyers across the country and it's showing us that it's not just South Florida where first time home buyers are suffering, it's across the country. And some of the things they brought up were that they struggle in more ways than you would expect. 80% of first time home buyers lost at least two days off of work. And like I said, millennials are coming into that age where they are working a lot and making the most money they've ever made. 39% uh, faced down payment problems and 37% were outbid at least once in their home buying process. Now, all of these things are causing some millennials to leave the market right now. Uh, it's deterring some from even joining the market and forcing a lot of them to rent. And as years go by, they wonder if they're going to be renting forever. First time home buyers who are still in the market are facing bidding wars, uh, getting bid out by a lot of cash offers, low inventory all around, and they're being very challenged by rise in home prices because that's affecting their affordability as far as their down payment goes, but also as far as uh, property taxes are gonna go. Your property tax amount is tied to your home value. So as prices have risen, so have property taxes, which is really affecting affordability. So if you look at around where I am, Palm Beach County, Broward County, uh, Miami-Dade County, those median home prices have risen uh, around 20%. So in Palm Beach County, your median sales price is 480,000, up 20% from last year. Broward County, 490,000, up 19% from last year. And Miami-Dade is 500,500, dollars up 20% also. So that's that's a big chunk, it's a big difference. Um, and it's, it's causing people to struggle a lot with high property taxes as well. So that's a little tip for first time home buyers, as well as any home buyer, when you're looking at the property taxes, that are listed that the current owner is paying, yours are going to be more than that. So keep that in mind. Another big issue that first time home buyers and buyers in general are facing right now is that they've lost the luxury of, of having a counter offer situation. You know, a few years ago, you could kind of go in a little lower, make your offer, hope for a counter offer, give them a little more of what they wanted and scoop that home up for yourself. But now it's, it's harder to understand that you don't have that luxury. You need to come with your best, highest and best offer right out of the gate. Um, so that's a big adjustment coming into the market that people don't understand. So to that I say, you need to work with a professional who's gonna help you understand the total market that you're in and be competitive with your offers. With that said, they've also gotta come quick with their offer. And first time home buyers struggle to make the decision on making their first offer because it's a bigger commitment and they've just never done it before. But to adjust in this market, you need to be ready to absolutely make your highest and best offer the first day you see the house. And that's really tough for a lot of people. Now, another thing that I see first time home buyers struggling with is adjusting their expectations. Um, it's your first time buying a house and you've thought about this probably your whole life and things you would want. And you look at other people's houses and there's, there's these characteristics of a home that you really want. But 
not to simplify it too much, but everyone kind of wants the same thing in a house. You know, I talk to people all day telling me what they want in a house. Everybody wants the newest, bestest, best quality, has everything, biggest backyard, huge pool in South Florida. Everyone's looking for the same thing. So those high quality properties at the top of the market are gonna be super competitive to get into them. And first time home buyers can't be as competitive. They just can't. They can't compete against the cash offers. They can't compete against people who have owned homes before, have more wealth, therefore have a higher down payment likely to put into this home and makes them a better candidate to buy the home than a first time home buyer. The reality is that first time home buyers have less of an ability to compete or to be competitive in this market. Therefore, I would recommend that they adjust their expectations a little bit to get themselves into the homes where they can be more competitive. So first time home buyers, don't be discouraged. Just know you need to hire a professional and be super prepared before entering this market and you'll have a better chance of, of getting out a little easier. So reach out to me if you have any questions. I can absolutely help you set up a plan and have you be really prepared before you enter this market so that you can execute your plan, get the home of your dreams, become a home buyer, have that dream come true and keep moving forward. So please reach out to me if you need anything. Stick around and watch some of my other videos to, to help you learn a little bit more about what's going on and some home buying tips. And don't forget to like this video. Thanks, bye.